guys you have reached the channel of why you hate me 1982 and this is your girl Ursula C hi <laughs> it has been um, it's been a, a good little while since we've uh, chit chatted so I wanted to come on and say happy New Year's of course have welcome to 2013 I really hope that everyone is doing great. I hope that your holidays were full of cheer, laughter, blessings, blessings in disguise, miracles. <laughs> I just hope that it was a, a good time for you guys. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, let me take time out to say thank you so much, guys, for uh, subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, for favoriting my videos, for sharing my videos recommending my videos, whatever the case is, uh, commenting, interacting with me on the videos. Thank you guys so much for that. It is truly appreciated and I mean, what more can I say? But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what your reasons were for subscribing or liking or whatever, you know, but thank you. <laughs> okay, so I want to come on because of course it's a new year, so, uh, it just seems right that, you know, it's a new year, 2013, that I would come on and talk to you guys and say hi and what's up and all that stuff and just basically catch up. So this is going to be my catch up video. Uh, I have to be honest, the, probably the last six months, even before then, but definitely the last six months has been a roller coaster for me in every aspect of life, personal, physical, mental everything it's just been a roller coaster so I haven't been putting out as many videos as I normally would or have in the past maybe so you have to excuse me for that uh, if you're someone who I mean I know some people get on YouTube and they just wait for their favorite person to get on and make a video and I don't know if I'm any of you guys favorites or anything like that or favorite youtuber type person but I know that some of you may like my devotions which I'm going to get back to some of you might want to see more um some of my top videos are when I do my monthly favorites and things like that so I really am going to get back into that it's just been a crazy six months and just to kind of recap of course um well, actually seven months now <laughs> but I would have to say it ended at the six month mark like exactly it ended at the six month mark I basically got married in June as you all know and everything's going great with that um, you know marriage is work <laughs> but uh, I along with getting married and planning for a wedding I also had some issues with um, I don't want to go too much in detail, but with some people in my life that I've um, had to let go, we're no longer in contact, things like that. So that takes a toll on you, especially when there are people who are really, really close to you. So that took a toll with that. I um, also gained a lot of weight. The stress of getting a new home, which by the way, I guess I just announced it. I'm in my new house, which I'm so grateful for. Praise the Lord for that. That's another long story, so I will have to do a whole nother video on that. And I know that I am because the whole housing situation was basically, um, it is my testimony right now. It's my everything because it just goes to show having faith, having patience, um, thinking that God has left you. He has not left us. It's all about what we put in. I, I could go on and on about that. But... It's just been crazy, so um, definitely I'm going to get back on my grind with the videos, and so don't worry about that. As far as, I know I was doing a lot of fitness videos as far as giving you updates, uh, along, like I said, within that six-month time period, I would work out, not work out, eat bad, eat good, as I mentioned in my video, I think that was back in June when I first got back from my honeymoon, um, I lived in another city uh, with my husband, then, you know, I had moved to to another city where he actually lived which is only like hours about an hour away might as well say 45 minutes to an hour away from where I lived originally um, when I got married I moved with him because we were working out this whole housing situation and you have to be that's another thing you have to be careful what you speak and that's something that I want to tell everyone be careful what you speak because they say in the Bible even 
tongue is the most powerful weapon. Be careful what you speak. Because when I moved there, I was like, there's nothing there. I'm going to be so bored. When it came away, blah, blah. And all that stuff happened. Um, of course, all of that, like I said, stress and everything, it will get to you. It will cause your weight to go up, down, round, and round. But, and make you round. But anyway, so moving there was a big thing. Now that I'm back, uh, I already see, and it's only been a month, I already see a big difference inside of me and in my weight. I've, I've already lost weight within the past two weeks. I've been, we've been in our house a month now, pretty much a month exactly. Well, on the, we moved in on December 1st. Um, <clears throat> so a month and a couple of days, five days. So, uh, so basically five weeks and within the last maybe two weeks or so, I've lost um, about two and a half pounds really almost in total three pounds since being here so that just goes to show that when you're stressed out you know all that stuff it really does play a role anyway I'm rambling and this is what this video is going to be about rambling and hair stuff and makeup and whatever but the whole point of all this is that I'm going to get back to making regular videos my fitness I have been doing turbo fire I did one week of turbo fire today starts week two for me and uh, I will be giving you updates on that as well and seeing how that's going. Uh, what else have I not talked about in a while? Uh, daily devotion, devotions, uh, devotionals, devotions, whatever. They are coming back. They are coming back, definitely. And basically, if there's any videos that you want to see me do, monthly favorites, I'm going to get back into all of that. I promise this, I'm coming back. Better watch out, YouTube. You see's coming back. Ursula sees coming back. All right. Anyway, so, oh, one more thing I wanted to mention before I get into showing you some products. Of course, right? Because you got to get to the hair and all that. I'm also going to be doing a series. Um, or I'm not going to say a series, but I will be doing a couple of videos. I am so into family history. If anybody knows me, I'm into family history and learning and all of that. So... For Christmas, my lovely husband uh, bought me, uh, if you go to Ancestry.com, you know they have these DNA kits now. And they also, uh, if you've ever watched that show, um, Who Do You Think You Are? It's basically a show, I don't even know if it still comes on. I, would, I, I hope it does come back on. But it's basically a show and it talks about, uh, you know, and it has celebrities, and it goes back into their history and does DNA and, and all this stuff. And one of the people whose story that I love the most was Blair Underwood. Blair Underwood, basically, you know, he went back into his history and he learned all this stuff. But he also took one of these DNA tests. And from that test, he was able to find someone, I don't remember what part, but it was somewhere in Africa, who basically almost had the exact DNA as him and they started doing research and they found out how they were connected so they were like fourth fifth sixth whatever cousins back or whatever okay and I just thought that was so neat so my getting back to that my lovely husband for Christmas one of my Christmas presents was a subscription to ancestry.com which I have started my family tree and I found out some interesting things already but uh, started my family tree and also, he bought me the DNA kit, which um, that was a whole thing, I'm telling you. Now, um, I should be receiving it this week. Actually, tomorrow, I should be receiving it. And um, I'll be taking the DNA, uh, you know, doing the DNA test. And I ship it back, and then it takes about four to six weeks to get the results. And I would love to share with you guys what I found, what I'm finding out about my family and things like that. Maybe to encourage you or if any of you ever thought about doing that, to go out there and do it. I, I just think it's wonderful to learn your history of who you are. And, you know, just sometimes when you go back in history, you realize there's patterns or you realize how certain people were... Um, you know, maybe how what they did kind of reflects something about what you did. So, you know, it just, I truly believe in DNA and passing things along and family history. So that's why I'm doing this. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Now, I never did a hair regimen video. Yeah, I'm skipping like right over to stuff, right? I never did a hair regimen video, but I'm going to go through a couple of things and products that I've been liking and using 
of late and um, kind of give you some background. First of all, as you guys know, I'm a wash and go. Well, first of all, let's talk about this hair. Okay, first of all, I bleached the ends of my hair. I did this on Christmas Eve, so December 24th. And really, it was December 25th because it was really late. My friend, uh, Leah Marie, she's here on YouTube, um, helped me do this. And uh, we, how we did it is I actually started out with a flexi rod set. And uh, the curls from the flexi rod sets, because it was more straighter and not really curly, you know what I mean? Uh, it's more stretched out style, then we just kind of highlighted it like that. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you want me to go in detail, leave a comment below or inbox me and I can give you more details. So I basically um, am a wash and go girl. I have tried different products along the way. I think in the end I'm probably going to stick with Diva Curl products. Today I actually have um, <laughs> one of my old favorites and y'all gonna be like, dang, I thought you let go, let that go. But this is actually Kinky Curly in my hair today. Today, Sorry, that was my phone. Um, and actually, it's holding up pretty good. I washed my hair last night. I actually washed it with shampoo. And then I just sat under the dryer and then I pineappled it. And now I just took it down and kind of fluffed it with my pick. And here we go. So that's Kinky Curly. We'll see how it holds up. But let me um, tell you some of the stuff that I've been liking. First of all, going back to Diva Curl, I, their gels and just everything, I think I probably will stick with them. Maybe, I mean, I'm liking my kinky curly look today, so, you know, we might, we'll, we'll see. But I am going to implement um, some Diva Curl products in my hair. But one of my favorite Diva Curl products is Diva Curl Set It Free. It's a moisture lock. It says that it eliminates frizz, frizz adds shine, and enhances curls with this uh, 24 to 48 hour moisture lock spray. You can use, you can mist it on wet or dry hair. Um, today, for some reason, this side of my hair was looking a little bit more frizzier than what it is right now and I think it was because of course as we know when you apply kinky curly your hair needs to be wet even though on this side my hair wasn't even that wet but by the time I made it up to the front because I had divided it in four sections by the time I made it up to the front it started to get frizzy I put some of this stuff on it and the curls start to pop and come back live so absolutely love this stuff I don't know the price if you want me to go more in detail leave a comment or message me okay um, another thing that I've been getting into lately, as of late, is um, we have a store. Oh, if you're in Houston, go to Tendrils and Curls. They have um, a lot of your natural hair products, like uh, Quimet Biologics. Um, they have, I know they have Mixed Chicks. They have um, Original Moxie. They have uh, Curl Junkie. All those uh, uh, Camille Rose go to tendrils and curls look them up on facebook as well uh one thing that i bought from them which i actually bought some other stuff but this is the ethopica i don't know how to say this hydrate and twist but let me just show it to you by we met biologics this stuff is awesome it costs 15.50 at uh, tendrils and curls here in houston and this is just has uh let's see it has olive oil, mango butter and rice oil blend, it has soy, plant wax, blah, 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 all this other stuff. I don't know, but there you go. It's really, I love this stuff. It gives a lot of shine. When I've done a twist out, I've used water and then just put this on, or leave-in conditioner, put this on, and I'm telling you, that twist out was rocking. I have uh, a very fine hair and obviously kind of on the thin side here, and this to me was not too heavy. I know a lot of people with um, fine hair worry about stuff wearing their hair down. I absolutely love this. Also, another thing that I bought to put on my hair to kind of seal my ends and add shine. Uh, I did it today to kind of get loose, oops, to get uh, some of the crunch out of the kinky curly. Was this hair bling by Original Moxie. It's a mango and Takuma butter. I uh, hope I said that right. I just bought this little, um, it was during the Black Friday. Whoa, camera kind of stopped there. Black Friday, so, um, and I bought this. This was like three or five dollars on Sage Suticles. I think that's how you say it. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It reminds me of some hair grease or something that I had when I was little. I don't know. I, I just absolutely love it. I am going to buy the bigger bottle of this. I've had this since the end of November, beginning of December. 
this is how much I've used me and my husband have used this but I'm talking about I've used this a whole bunch I know I'm talking fast but just trying to get through <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that but okay I live in a new neighborhood so they're still building homes and um, it must be getting close to lunchtime or or oh, maybe breakfast, but I don't know. The little taco truck always comes. It's like, do 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 do. Okay, anyway. Um, so those are things that I like to use for my twist outs and stuff like that, which I've been doing. Also, I've been doing flexi rod sets, which I've been getting pretty good at, which I think that I'm actually going to do a tutorial on how I do a flexi rod set. If you guys will follow me on Instagram, uh, you will see uh, my flexi rod and my Instagram is basically the same as the channel mine is the 1982 so why are you hating me that's it Instagram check me out I will leave it below in case you forget some things that I, I've been watching I, I've been into cleansing conditioners I love the L'Oreal uh, cleansing sulfate cleansing conditioner um, it doesn't have sulfate I'm sorry I'm, I don't know why I said sulfate but cleansing conditioner I love that stuff uh, but honestly, I still love shampoo. I just can't let go of shampoo. But I've been using sulfate shampoo. So mainly I use a cleansing conditioner. I used to like the Care Care. I bought the Care Care recently after trying a tri uh, uh, using the trial size. And um, it just wasn't happening for me. I ended up giving it away. So I was like, well, let me try this as I am coconut, coconut co-wash cleansing conditioner. So I've been trying this. I know many of you have heard of this um, on here on YouTube. You can buy this at Sally's and um, I like it I don't I have to use it a couple more times uh, I had to use my L'Oreal cleansing conditioner a lot of times before I was like oh I'm really in love with it and I really am in love with it so if I don't too much go for this I'm just gonna go back to the L'Oreal cleansing cream cleansing ever, ever pure y'all know what I'm talking about uh, but in the meanwhile I have came across these shampoos here by Alba I love these oh my gosh um, these two don't match as far as this is for extra volume and balance, which I'm not worried about that because I'll, I'll pick this hair to pieces and it'll pump up. And then this is uh, this is more for uh, no uh, for color, I guess, hair. This is the actual shampoo. It's a mango. Uh, there's no animal testing, artificial colors, parabens, uh, no sodium laurel or laurel sulfate or sodium methyl sulfate. It's pH balanced, 100% vegetarian ingredients. This does give you a very, very uh, clean feeling. So I was using this, so sometimes when I feel like I have a lot of buildup or if I have used a lot of my butters in my hair, I will use this. Otherwise, um, I'm using a, a cleansing conditioner, but if I've used a cleansing conditioner maybe like twice or three times then I'll go ahead and do this because I still feel like I need a shampoo that's just me so I like this I really would love to find the shampoo in this scent which is the Pomeria it smells so good I don't know if y'all remember but years ago Bath and Body Works used to have I think a Pomeria um, lotion it smells just like it smells so good um, this stuff has pretty good slip very good slip uh, I'm not gonna do all the ingredients in it but it Another thing that I have been using, I don't care if it has cones, I don't even know if it does, but I know it has protein in it, is this, I use this, I use this a lot, and I used to use this a lot um, way back when. I just got out of, um, I just, you know, stopped using it, but now that I use this, I use this almost probably every time that I um, shampoo or cleanse wash, or at least every other time or something, but I use this quite often. You can get this at Walgreens, stuff like that. The last thing is this John Masters Organics Lavender and Avocado Intensive Conditioner. I got this from Sage Suticals as well online, their Black Friday sale. I absolutely love this, and I swear, since I've been using this, I don't know if it's a combination now that I'm back where I started from before me and my husband got married. We moved back to where the city I used to live in, and um, the water here... Is not like the best the best but it's better than where he lived and so I have been using this right here and I absolutely love it it's kind of a little bit on the expensive side I'll give you more details later in another video um, like I said I just wanted to come on and show you some things that I've been using on my hair since I've just been totally out the loop with that but I absolutely love this stuff and I use this pretty much almost every time that I shampoo or something like that or at least every other time 
something along those lines, but I use it a lot. So I'm gonna have to purchase more and maybe eventually get the big, big bottle. But the big, big bottle is like, woo, expensive, boy. Um, so there you go with that. My lipstick color. I'm gonna start doing more lipstick videos. I have um, a lot of lipsticks that I've bought recently, so maybe I'll do some swatches or what have you. A good person to watch for lipstick swatches and things of that sort is Blue Sugar, the Blue Sugar. I will try and leave a link below or at least put her name below so you can um, search her here on YouTube. This is Wet n Wild Cherry, cherry Picking. Let's see here. <laughs> so that's what I'm using here on my lips today. Sorry for this. And the last thing I want to show you guys before I go, this video was like, ooh, how long. But hey, it's been a minute, so, you know, Okay, so I also got this for Christmas, too. Uh, we tried it out in the store, and I was like, I want that. And then I didn't even think, I thought that my husband, girl, I'm saying girl, like, I'm really talking to my friends, but y'all kind of are, like, my online friends. But, um, and I was about to say my boyfriend, but I meant my husband. That's good, though, to still think of him as a boyfriend, because it's kind of, like, playful, I guess. I don't know. But anyway. Um, this Clarisonic Mia 2. Let me tell you about this baby boo. Let me take the thing off. This is the brush here. This thing is the bomb.com. Um, I tried it in the store one day. I thought he totally forgot about it, but then surprise, surprise, I got it for Christmas. Um, last night was my first time using it. No, I'm sorry. Two nights ago was my first time using it on my face because I had to charge it. And, um, you can use any cleanser that you want, but it came with a little refreshing gel cleanser. So I just used that for the sake of just using it. You know, I was like, let me use their product first and just see how it works. I did this and it has, um, it tells you when it'll change and everything like you do 20 seconds here, 10, 10, and then 20 on your nose, 20 on your chin. And then, um, uh, and that's it. But I did it about two times, two or three times, uh, like around of each thing. And let me tell you, my my face looks shiny and not a bad shiny but like it looked like i just buffed my nails buffed my car my face looked wonderful uh also uh my my skin felt very smooth so if you were ever wondering about this clarisonic mia 2 or i think they have a regular clarisonic i think this might have been the newer one that came out check it out it really really works it's great it has a great traveling case so you know you just pop it in here and you can travel with it just like this um, you do have to charge it, but this charge is really cool. Okay, you just plug it in here There's the plug and I love see these little things right here. It just goes in like such So I really like that. It's like a magnet It just goes on there and it just charges and I just think that it's like totally awesome so <laughs> This has been like a 25 minute video Maybe I can cut it down. Oh one more thing um I have, I just have to show you this phone case because I just think it's awesome. And this is for the Galaxy 3. Okay, I just think it's awesome. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to try and start putting more videos out. So stay tuned for devotionals, just for random talk, hair stuff, whatever. If there's anything that you want to see done on this channel, please leave your comments or message me. If you have any questions over the products, comment message me um hopefully very soon i'll do a little bit more detail in another video on regimen and all that it's just that i had to catch up with you guys and say what's going on and happy new year's so i'm going to stop this recording now and uh try and upload this thing get it going so i will talk to you guys soon again oh follow me on instagram because um i don't have like 3001 pictures on there but i upload stuff and especially uh, maybe if it's a new product or something like that, you know, just check me out on there. You never know um, what you will see. And